All right, welcome back to the channel. It's Turbo Josh here. I am doing a video of the 50cc, 70, 90cc, 110, 125, even up to like the 150s and the Shenzhen 190s. Liffin motors are all pretty much the same layout as this one. You'll be able to tell from the options you have on the engine. If this video applies specifically to your engine because this is a really universal engine. Um, since I'm doing the breakdown of the motor in a separate video for my channel, I'm going to show you how to check your timing, which should rarely skip a tooth unless you just timed it wrong or somebody else before you that owned it messed with the timing and did it wrong as well. So right now I'm going to show you. Inside this is your timing hole, so to speak, and you can see that circle with a line coming straight out of it. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see it. That is your timing mark, and you'll know that because if you take this cover off, you will see a T next to it, but I memorized where it is because if you rotate to the left, you'll see some like dotted lines going sideways in a solid line. Once you pass that, your first dot with the line under it is your T mark because it has a T on it. You'll want to know that because along with this dot with the line coming straight out of it that you're looking at right now in there. See that dot? There's several dots to the left that are called like this one has an R that's over here and there's like two or three more that have different letters on them. I don't really know what they mean, but they're not applicable to this scenario. But if you're on your timing mark, which is the first one after the dotted lines that go sideways and one solid line together, they're like a design like that. And then over here is the dot with the letter T on it. You'll also have a dot in your cam gear right here that should line up with this notch right here in the cylinder head, so to speak. And that's how you know you're in time. If you're not in time and you're a couple teeth off and that may be your issue or why you're watching this video, then simply undo these bolts right here, which are a certain pattern. So you cannot bolt this cam gear on the wrong way, given I'm at top dead center right now, which is where I need to be to take the motor apart without any extra drama. You'll undo these and break this cam gear off. Put the cam gear loose down. You can just rub your finger like this and skip the teeth or skip the chain over one tooth until you get to the desired area you want to be at. So I'm going to put that in this video as well, just so you can have it on there. This chain was very tight and I had to pry the cam gear onto the cam shaft just because the tension is so tight. So the odds of you being out of time naturally should be very, relatively impossible unless somebody before you's messed with it or in this case if you're doing a rebuild a new cylinder jug like this thing right here which is what the piston sits in which also has a sleeve that's about that long that goes into the crankcase so unless you've taken it apart or somebody has before you shouldn't have an issue where you're out of time if you're having any other issues getting the motor to run because it's sitting for a while or whatever it's more than likely something else a bunch of video just to catch up on my mini chopper project yeah, I hope you liked the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button for us. Make sure you like the video. It really helps get us out there. And it literally, it doesn't cost you anything. Just be considerate and give us the due diligence we deserve for shooting, directing, and all that. And obviously making the video in high definition and up to date. Because a lot of the videos I've seen are very old, very poor quality, video quality. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to finish the rest of this uh, pulling down of the engine and uh, check my channel for all the other stuff as far as, like, checking the piston rings and stuff like that. Have a great day.